PostgreSQL manages database access permissions using the concept of roles. It doesn't use a user concept like other database systems. A role can be thought of either a database user or a group of database users depending on how the role is set up. Roles can own database objects such as tables and functions and can assign privileges to control who has access to which object. That's pretty much saying if I own a object, I can then grant another user access to the object I own. It is also possible to grant membership in a role to another role. So when a role contains another role, they are called group roles. So typically, roles that can log in are called login roles. They are pretty much equivalent of users in other database systems. A role in Postgres, you'd use the create role statement. So let's create a role called demo user. So it execute to create the user. Now if you expand login slash database roles, you should be able to see the demo user that we just created. You can also query PG roles to view the list of roles. So I light. So this is a list of roles and it is listed in order of which they were created. So you can see the demo underscore user as the last user. Notice all the system roles starts with a PG underscore. If you're on the terminal, you could do the same thing using PSQL using forward slash du. To simulate being on the terminal, right click on any of the databases and then select PSQL tool. Then type slash du. Then enter and you'll see the same information reflected here. So if you look carefully, the demo user we just created cannot log in. That's because we did not assign it the attribute to be able to log in. So in order for the user to be able to log in, we need to assign it the login attribute. When creating a role, you can define various privileges for that role, such as login, super user, database creation, or role creation, password, and more. So when you're creating a role, you can specify more than one options in the create statement. Now let's create a user that will be able to log in to the database. So first we need to specify the create role, specify the username, and then you're going to specify the options that you want. So we want, able to, we want the user to be able to log in. And we also want to set a password for that user. To set the password for the user, you're going to just specify the password in single quotes. Do not specify a equal sign. Once you have done that, select execute. So my demo user already exists. So let me specify one to the name and execute again. Now it's completed successfully. If we go back to the PSQL and then type forward slash du, then you'll see our demo one user but this time it does not have the option that it say can't log in so if you try to connect to the server now use using demo user underscore one you should be able to get into your server from time to time you may also need to create additional super user but bear in mind the super user can override all access restrictions within a database so therefore only create this user when it's really needed so to create a super user now all we need to do is add the super user attribute to the create user statement. So let's specify super user. And we're going to change it to demo super. Execute. Remember you can also query the PG roles to see the information. So on the PSQL I'm going to type slash du. Now you see that my demo super has the super user attribute. If you wanted to create a user that have enough permission to create like just databases, then you can create a user with the create db attribute. So let's copy and paste. And you can change user from super to create db. 
let's say you want a user that can create databases but you don't want to give them the full super user permission what you can do now is just create a role and assign them the create db role so let's copy this statement we can call this role demo db creator and instead of specifying super user you say create db execute you can query the list of users slash du that's for databases and now you see that the demo db creator has the create db attribute you can also create roles using the graphical user interface right click roles create login role specify the role that you want to create and then you can specify the privilege do you want the user to be able to log in yes you can also specify when a user login expires so select on the definition and then under account expire section select the little calendar and then select the date that you want the user to be expired now this is essential when you're creating temporary users that will only need to have access to the database for a limited time now you can also set the connections to say only three or one if you only want one session from that user to be able to access the database at any given point in time if you select on sql you should see the statement that it will create so select save to continue to see a list of users again you can do the forward slash du now you should be seeing the limited user with one connection as the attribute being assigned as well as the expiry date of the password so in postgres user roles represent user accounts a role that can log in is equivalent to a user account in another database system you can use the role attribute to specify privileges of the role in the next lecture we'll be taking a look at granting privileges and database objects to a role